y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After Etc. And welcome back to another Pandora video. So last week, my mom went to Vegas and she picked up a few Vegas exclusives for me. She did take footage in the store of all of their exclusives because Vegas, like Italy, is one of the few places that has multiple exclusives, lots of options, not just one. And while I got two charms, and the exclusive bracelet, which comes with this little case, and mom got her own charm. There are even more that we did not buy. Now, I've been to Vegas several times, including my honeymoon, but I wasn't able to get um, charms every single time we've been. So I did, like I said, I picked up two, and I finally went ahead and got the bracelet, which comes with several charms. So we're going to get into it. I'm going to show you everything that I bought, um, but we're going to start with the footage mom took us of the store and the exclusive charms that they have currently right now in July of 2024 changes often in the Vegas Pandora store. Right, so, well, I didn't buy the bracelet uh, bundle combo to get this really cute little jewelry case. I do like it. It is the same size and shape as the pink one that I use all the time for travel, except as you can see, it's black. It says Las Vegas on it, where the other one says Pandora unforgettable moments. This one is quilted and has a little heart. I've had this one for like uh, six or seven years now. This one has a dice as the pull. You can see it is wrapped. I haven't undone anything yet. This is exactly how mom got it. It also has a little wrist strap, which is nice. My other one doesn't have that. But other than that, this comes, like I said, with the bracelet. And I will show you the whole bracelet. The bracelet comes as a set. So you cannot buy just the bracelet on its own. You do have to purchase the entire set. I'm just taking everything out without really looking at it. So the actual jewelry case is black velvety kind of material. It has the same exact setup as the pink one it looks like, which is a little pouch on one side. And this is magnetic, both to close it and to hold it in place here. So it doesn't 
it, it will fall out, but it, it doesn't fall out unless you're going to pull it like 100% upside down. As you can see, if you're just opening and shutting it, it does hold pretty well. It then does have a spot that you can leave this in for a bracelet or take it out if you need more space. Um, I tend to leave it in for my bracelets with my other one, but it is completely up to you what you are trying to store in them. This one is a lot tighter than my other one, probably because I've had the other one for seven years. The top of the heart is always the hardest part to get around. I don't think I've unpacked this from my last trip. No, I have not. <laughs> you can see it's full of my jewelry that I brought with me. Um, but as you can see, after six, seven years, the uh, binding is much looser on this one than this one. So I don't know if that is necessarily a good thing. It does not like really have any issues, but I definitely don't want it to break. I love this little thing, but everything else is the same. And it, it is held up, knock on wood, really well for the last six, seven years. Some trips I'd have a stack that I bring for most of my travel trips, which is this open bangle. This is not Pandora. I got this in um, Denmark. My main travel bracelet. That's my full one. A my O necklace with my travel charms on it. And lately I have been bringing this uh, heart Pandora me stack that I have put together that has travel charms on it. So it holds one full bracelet, another partial bracelet. Sometimes if I don't bring this, I will bring uh, my open bangle that has five charms on it. An open bangle and a necklace. So one full, one half, one empty, three bracelets for a stack. So I will wear all these on one wrist and then my O bangle. And this is my main uh, jewelry stack that I bring when I travel. It doesn't matter about Vegas at all, but I'm just showing you what the jewelry box kind of holds. I also can put earrings or uh, rings in that little velvet pouch. So typically that's what I bring. I am excited to have two because this way, if I want to bring anything else, it does not fit in here. If I'd like to bring a second stack that's not travel related, that's just pretty, especially when I go on cruises, I like to have different options for formal nights. I can now bring a second stack of things in this one. Or, you know, if I'm going on a trip where I have my big suitcase, I bring an entire, my bigger uh, jewelry box. I like this one because it's small enough that it fits in my carry-on, but sturdy enough that it protects my jewelry. So uh, there you go. There's a little review of that case. So let's go ahead and look at the charms first. So of the three exclusive charms, mom already has hers on her bracelet because they put it right on here for her in Vegas. And it is this button charm. Trying to double check that you can see it. Oh, it is the Vegas sign. It says, welcome to Las Vegas. It is on a button charm. So it has CZs all the way around. The back says, make it memorable. I have a new uh, camera here and I cannot tell if that is in focus because it looks pretty darn blurry to me. It's 
supposed to be a much better camera, so we will find out. You guys let me know what you think. So on the left side, I don't see any hallmarks. They are all on the right. S925 ALE there at the top. And for a closer look at the first charm I purchased, it is this charm in rose gold. There are not a lot of rose gold button charms, let alone exclusives. They are out there, don't get me wrong, but they are much farther and fewer between. So I just, I really wanted this one, especially because you can get the exclusive uh, Vegas bracelet in rose gold, but it was much more expensive. So I did not. It also says make it memorable. It does not have uh, the little dot, dot, dot that the silver has, and it's in a much darker black font. It's a little bigger. See, these look like they're a smidge bigger. The hallmarks are a little different. The entire outside is a little different. You can see there's a line of hearts around the outside as opposed to the cutouts on the other silver charm. But there are the hallmarks, the M-E-T for rose gold. And the A-L-E for the sterling silver that it's under, over. I like it. I think, I'm not sure if I'm going to adjust something on this bracelet for it to fit. I think you can see like I have a lot of rose gold in, in this bracelet, but my two button charms on here are cutouts from uh, Vegas, not Vegas, <laughs> from Buckingham Palace and Venice. Um, I think I'm going to do the same thing mom did, which is put my Vegas charm with my Alaska charm. I have this same button charm from Alaska. And then I have one that says inner passage with a cruise ship from Alaska. I think I'm going to put this on the bracelet with those in the middle, um, which is a, a little open bangle. But we'll see because I do now have a brand new exclusive travel bracelet from Vegas to fill up. So maybe all three of these will come on here um, because they're, I think they're just on a charm bar right now. And a smaller charm bar. Those are my big ones and they have two bracelets on them that I need to work on. Yes, they are. Okay. So right here I have My whale. I have two Muranos and I have my Alaska charms. So maybe I can put this on my travel bracelet. That would be nice. Get it off of there and start wearing it. Need some more rose gold, but let's look at the bracelet. So you can see it has a plane and a little travel dot like you're on a map or a GPS. With the plane, it is a heart clasp. It says, I love travel on this side. Now this set was 309, I believe, and that includes the bracelet, the two clips, the two dice, a charm for the middle. Now the one that was on here is different. I picked this one out. I was going to purchase it separately and she agreed to swap it out for the middle charm that comes with this set. I will put on the screen right now a picture of the one that comes with the set um, as well as, of course, the jewelry box. So once we get into the bracelet, it is a standard snake chain bracelet. I just love that it says I love travel on it. It has two clips. They are identical and they're just the uh, CZ clips. You can see clear CZs. They are silicone lined. This is not a bracelet with clip stations, which I like. So it is clean on both sides. 
There are our hallmarks, S925ALE. Then we have two dice. These are identical, I believe. They are square, as you can see, as dice are. S925ALE. Now, mom wants one of these. So I don't mind the dice. I'm not huge on gambling. So I wouldn't have necessarily bought this set with the dice unless I knew mom wanted one or both of them uh, because I just don't want a gambling heavy bracelet. I don't mind having one. Uh, we did gamble when we were in Vegas. My mom likes to gamble when we're on cruise ships. Uh, my husband, when we went to visit his family, they always like to hit the casino. Um, so I have good memories in casinos. It's just not my favorite thing. I'm typically sitting there uh, reading my book like a proper old-fashioned lady while everyone else gambles. I, I would rather spend my money on charms than throw it away in a slot machine. So... In the middle, though, is the one charm that I did pick for our honeymoon, which is the Venetian gondola ride charm from Vegas. We stayed at the Venetian for our honeymoon. We rode in this very gondola. I have been in a gondola in Italy, in Venice, and I have the gondola charm. And I never knew which, which place it was for, but now that can be for actual Venice and this can be for Vegas. I love that it has the sparkly blue enamel of the water. It has the bridge. It has the hearts all around it. The back, it does say Las Vegas. I almost wish it said Venetian because um, that would have been even more special. But S925 ALE. I love this charm. I have one other Vegas charm. Um, that I purchased back for our honeymoon. Um, and they did not have a Venetian option then. So I will show you at the end of this video, but there we go. I love it. I love the dice. And then of course we just have another clip. So that is everything. And while I am not, Ooh. it's hard to get undone. I did want to show you real quick. Uh, it says Pandora at the top of the clasp. Is that in focus? Why does it jump left to right like that? Guys, if you know, let me know. What I was saying is, while it is not maybe my first choice for designs, and I'm going to keep working on this design, I do want to put all my charms on here just because I can start wearing it then, and that would be really fun, so... Let's go ahead and take these off. Are the dice threaded? The dice are threaded, y'all. I love a threaded charm. It is just nice to have that extra bit of security. Okay, where are we getting stuck? This is the first time I have done anything with this bracelet. It's a little worrisome. Not crazy, but just worrisome. All right, so let's go ahead and actually and these charms for Singapore. We're going to Singapore next fall. It's coming up. I'm not ready to put those on a bracelet yet. They may go on this bracelet. They may go on a different bracelet. Y'all, we're not going to worry about that just yet. Instead, I'm going to take these off. I'm going to put Vegas in the middle with my dangly charms. I don't think I have another travel dangle to put on here. Yep, all right, and then we're gonna put my dice. So here is the question, which is, do we like the Muranos on the outside? Or is it better to do Murano and then Button Charm? No, I like them better on the outside. Okay, so let's start putting these things on our bracelet. So 
So I'm going to have to decide. I don't want 8 million travel bracelets, but in the last couple of years, collecting exclusives has definitely um, been my main focus, not only because I've just been traveling more, but because I would always rather purchase an exclusive charm than one I can buy at home anytime, especially when I'm on a trip. I've been going on so many amazing trips with my mom uh, that it just makes sense, you know? There we go. Obviously, I will need more rose gold on here and more dangles. <laughs> Maybe I have another dangle that can work. I have some for my cruise bracelet. You know what? I'm not going to worry about it. I do have some, but they're meant for my cruise bracelet. And I'm not going to work on this design too much. I just want to combine everything. And I think this is really fun. Um, for all I know, this dangle may end up going on my cruise bracelet. And leaving this as just... The character beads and the button charms might be really fun not to have a to have a bracelet with just uh, beads and no dangles. So I do like all of my Vegas charms. I, I honestly don't know if I like the button charm or the Venetian charm better. The other Vegas charm that I own that I purchased Oh, it had to have been almost 10 years ago now, is this one that says Do Vegas, and it has all the confetti on it. I just loved the colors. Like I said, when I got it, there were very few uh, Vegas exclusives, and I had to have it. I wasn't even in Vegas. I had to hunt it down and purchase it from someone who was willing to buy it for me. It is on my first ever Pandora bracelet that probably needs cleaned, but is less theme and more just things we love. And there is the gondola. This was like my fifth Pandora charm I ever had. This in the Eiffel Tower, which you may not be able to tell, but it is a bent right here at the top. Has been ever since I got it. I bent, I bent it, but I bent it very quickly. So there you go. I hope you liked this look at the exclusives that I just picked up from Vegas. I will have to give mom her bracelet back and let me know if you go to Vegas, what would you have picked up? Would you have gone for the bracelet set? I hope, uh, I hope all your dreams come true. I don't know. Bye y'all.